Perfect. Welcome back to my obsession. This is Anamika here and today I'm here with an inspired makeup look of Jennifer Wingert from the serial called Behat 2. This is a requested video from Massage Shake and I actually don't watch daily soaps. I don't actually watch TV at all. So, you know, I just googled it and gone through with a lot of pictures and then I was a little confused which one I should do. So I watched the first episode of Behad 2 and I absolutely loved this look. This was actually her introduction look. So I absolutely fell in love with this like when she was coming out of the ocean dragging some guy and he was looking absolutely amazing. She had red hair which is practically not possible for me right now in this hour. So I just kept the hair simple just behind my ears and that is it. Other than that, yeah, the makeup look is exactly same what she is wearing. So there is a disclaimer, I don't look like her and I don't even want to look like her. So this is just a makeup tutorial and I am just copying her makeup. So if you guys enjoy this, don't forget to give me a like and even subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button. So yeah, do that and yeah, now let's get to this video. So yeah, keep on watching. So guys, let's start with the makeup tutorial. I'm super excited but before starting the makeup, I really want to hydrate my face. I am going to be hydrating my face with this aloe vera gel from Le Organo. And I really feel very very dry on my skin so yeah, let's just hydrate my face. And let's not forget the lips, it's very important to hydrate your lips as well. So yeah, some Nivea Cherry Shine lip balm. And then I'll be going with my Max Fix Plus. You all know it, can't live without this. So I'm going to spritz this all over my face. And now for my foundation, I'm going with this Maybelline 24 hour full coverage foundation in the shade Warm Nudes 128. Going with two pumps. And I'm going to dab this all over my face. So now Jennifer, she had very clear and flawless skin in this picture as you can see. So I'm going to achieve that with this foundation. And you have to make sure whenever you're using your foundation for this look or any look, the key is to blend. So keep blending and yes, blend, blend, blend. And even don't forget to drag your foundation on your neck area. And now for the concealer, I'm going with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Medium. Now seeing from the picture, I can say Jennifer, she had a lot of highlighter going on on her face, but the base is first. So you got to make sure that all your dark circles and all the pigmentation is nicely covered. For that, I'm going with this on the highest points of my face and even I'm going to cover my lids with this. And now again, I'm going to blend this out with the same sponge. And now to set my face, I'm going with this Makeup Revolution Banana Powder and I'm going to dust this on the areas I have concealed and highlighted. And now as I can see from this picture, her face is nicely contoured and even her nose is very much chiseled up. And it's not only contour, she even has that very nice bronze going on on her face. So I'm going to do both. So first for the contouring, I'll be going with this brown shade from Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit Ultra Light Medium C04. So first I'll be going with this on my cheekbones and even keep going upwards because her temple area is nicely contoured. And even I'll be going with this on the jawline because she has a very nice jawline but I do have double chin right now so yes, let's cover that up. 
and now to create that sharp line again I'm going with the same powder underneath my contour and now moving on to the nose contouring and now from the same palette I'll be going with this bronzer shade I'll just go with light amount of product and go over the previous contour so after bronzing my face I'm just going to dust off this powder and as you can see I got that nice sharp edge so now I'll move on to my brows and for that I'm going with this brown shade right here so now Jennifer and I both have different brow shape but I'm going to try and fill in the sparse area of my eyebrow and her brows are soft and diffused out so I'm going to try that So guys, as you can see, I've filled in my brows and even I'm done with one of my eye. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. So from Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette, I'm going with this shade right here. As you can see in this picture right here, Jennifer is having just a wash of color and a little bit darker on the outer V like from her crease. So I'm going to do the same thing as you can see this eye it's very nice and very morning kind of look so yes that's what I'm going to recreate on the other eye and I'm going to apply this all over my lids and now I'm going with this peach color from Makeup Revolution Hot Spice blush palette I'm going with this on the outer V area and even dragging this on my crease area and even I'm going to run this on my lower lash line and connect this with the outer V and that is it for the eyeshadow now if you can see her eyes closely you can see she has got a very precise and thin line just near her lash line so for that I'm going with sugar eyeliner I want you so double matte eyeliner and now I'll be going with this nude pencil from Wet n Wild Icon pencil it is and as you can see Jennifer she has a nude pencil in her eyes so for that I'm going with this right and now again if you see her picture up close you can see she's not wearing any falsies but she's having a nice coat of mascara and for that I'm going with Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara the holy grail product of mine so yes I'm going to coat my upper and even the lower lashes And as we are done with the eyes now again moving on to my face the blusher and the highlighter is not yet done so let's move on to that and now for the blusher I'll be going with the same peach color which I have applied on my crease and as you can see her picture she has a very very light blusher going on but very flushed cheeks so yes for that I'm going with this color and that much is just enough now you can see her face she is having a very nice highlighter not blowing your eyes and it's looking very nice like it's within she even has a little bit on her chin and even above the eyebrow bone and with that my face is done now let's move on to the lips and for the lips I'll be going with two lipstick I'm going to mix up both the colors and make what she's having on her lips so she's got a very matte lips and I think I can mix both these colors and make that same color. So this one is MAC Chili and this one is Maybelline Sensation Creamy Matte I guess. I'm not 100% sure with the name because I have to just link it down below. You can just see it from there. The color is Pink My Red. So first I'm going with this Pink My Red. And then I'm going with MAC Chili. So guys, this is how the look turned out. Absolutely bearable for summers. You can just add a wing and a little bit of kajal. But this is the actual makeup look what she was wearing and I absolutely loved this so if you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel like from so long I didn't do a makeup tutorial so I'm doing after really really long so yeah subscribe me for that and 
yeah that's it thank you so much again masawa sheik for this request we'll see you all in my next one till then if you have any requests just dm me on my instagram i am definitely going to come up with whatever look you are asking me to do so yes if you are suggesting something please come and say a hi on my instagram and you can just share whatever you want to watch next so that's it for this video we'll see you in my next one till then love you all bye